Greetings and welcome to the video on how to master playing Risk of Rain 2. Here we'll be looking at some ticks and tricks to elevate your gameplay and dominate the battlefield side. Combos and patterns are an important part of mastering Risk of Rain. Take some time to try out the movements, jumps, attacks, and abilities of each character. This can help in combat, making sure you don't make simple mistakes in the heat of battle. Also, make sure to look up tutorials on how to do your main character's best techs. Risk and Rain 2 is teeming with intricate mechanics that are crucial to understanding in order to play effectively. Pay close attention to elements such as item rarity, item synergy, and character abilities, as these will significantly impact your gameplay decisions and overall success in battle. A good way to do this is with item, the item description mod, which tells you exactly what each item does. Choosing the right items to bring into battle is an important part of Risk of Rain 2. Each item has unique effects. Ensure you, you're using the right one for the situation at hand. Aim to build a balanced loadout that will give you plenty of versatility to tackle any of the enemies and scenarios that you might run into. This includes making sure you have a good amount of healing, a good amount of defense, and a good amount of attack. But if you get a game-changing item, make sure to build around it. For example, if you have Ladder's Plane, do not buy for bleed items. Instead, go for critical items. Risk of Rain 2 is not balanced for co-op play. Working together can make, a make it a lot easier. Make sure to communicate with your team and share items. For example, give Bungus to Engineer and support each other in uh, battles. The maps in Risk of Rain 2 have a ton of secrets, and one of those, for example, is the new art or the new altars. New altars will be hidden all across the map, so make sure you know where most of these are. So if you ever need to go to new to buy lunar items or to upgrade your items, you can. There's also the plates in the desert map, which will help you find or help you unlock the ring, rings, the bands. When exploring maps, I make sure to follow one rule, or the rule of one item per minute, and this is to make sure that I don't spend too much time in an area. Each character in Risk of Rain 2 has its own unique playstyle. Try out every character to find out which one you like, and make sure to unlock them as fast as possible. Make them unlock them all, I mean. This can help if you're struggling with a boss or getting a specific achievement, and it would be a lot easier if you had a specific character. But if you're struggling with gaining character abilities, check out this video on the screen, which will help you get Artificer's abilities.